This morning, video surfaced of the altercation between Graymon Green and Jordan Poole at Warriors practice. It was on Wednesday. The video, it shows Green stepping up to Poole, who reacts by shoving the Warriors veteran. And Green then punches Poole, knocking him down before several people at the practice intervene to break it up. You can see Green on your screen there. Uh, there was no video, though, that showed what led up to the incident. And yesterday, Warriors GM Bob Myers said that Draymond Green apologized to the Golden State Warriors on Thursday morning and is not expected back at the practice facility until tomorrow. There was plenty of reaction on social media, as I mentioned earlier, following this video surfacing. You can see Isaiah Thomas tweeted, all I'm saying is you ain't punching, you ain't responding with a punch if that's somebody you really rock with, especially after a push. But I ain't in the practice and I didn't hear what was being said, so I'm just going to leave that alone, but damn. And then Evan Fournier said, there is there's no way you can get back to being teammates after a punch like that. And then Trey Young added, Draymond is trying to get to L.A. Damn. Okay, so that's what players are saying on social media. Bringing it back to the desk here, though, with Richard Jefferson. What is your reaction to all of this? One, there is a way to go back to being teammates. Okay. Like, again, we watched in the last dance. I, I got into a fight with Kenyon Martin. He recently told that story when I was a rookie. You know, Steve Kerr and, and Michael Jordan. Like, there's ways to go back to being teammates. Like, mm. like that doesn't make it okay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, but when I look at Draymond, we know about the incidences he's had with Steve Kerr. We know about what happened during the 2016 tournament run, our, our, our championship run. We know about what happened with Kevin Durant. This is who Draymond is. This is who he is. Mm. He will he will rile people up in opposing crowds, media. He will push his teammates to the brink. It doesn't make it acceptable, but this is who he is. This is what the Warriors have been trying to manage since the day that they drafted him. He's had a tremendous amount of success, mm. but ultimately, this is who Draymond is. There, no one in the league is surprised when I heard about the punch. This is what I was expecting. I was expecting, if Draymond got in trouble, that there was going to be a situation where Draymond escalated the situation and was the first person to throw a punch. The video doesn't surprise me because I've seen these types of practices, mm. but I think it surprises everyone else. When you're talking about about a path forward back to being amicable teammates. What does that path look like to you? Man, this is this is about a job. We're here to win championships. We're here to make money. I'm not here to be your friend. Personally, I don't even care if we're like that close of teammates. As long as we win and as long as when I step between those lines, I can count on you. That is the number one thing that everyone cares about in basketball and in sports. You don't have to like the people that you work with. We've seen it happen. You know, we've seen Kobe and Shaq break up. We've seen so many things happen over the past, you know, 76 years of basketball that there is ways to come back. There is ways to move forward. Doesn't mean you're going to rock with somebody, but there is a way to move forward. It's just these things happen more. It happened mm. that in 2016 when we won a championship. There was an incident where there were punches thrown on our team. I'm not going to say between who, but that is something that happened. Well, and that's what Adrian Wojnarowski just pointed out to us, that when a video begins to circulate. That's circulate. the problem. I agree with RJ that they'll be able to figure it out and be teammates because it's the Warriors. But the reason it surprises everybody is because Draymond should know better. Draymond has always walked the line, but he's never crossed it. He's even had a chance with Tristan Thompson in a bar after the finals, and he didn't want to fight. It was Tristan that punched him. He's always been a pest and a guy that will get under your skin, but he's kept it on the court. He himself said it's only to be a competitor and to give the team an edge. He's also made it known that he does it in practice to motivate his teammates to become better players and to give it their all when he thinks they're not trying as hard as they could. He's made it clear that it's always been about winning for him. It's always about beating the other team and becoming the champions. That's all he cares about. But here, that was not a winning play. He punched his teammate. That's all that was. And I think that's why it's surprising. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more NBA content just like this. And I will see you in the next upload.